Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how to model a screwdriver in Blender. Now, it's actually super easy to model a screwdriver in Blender. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to start off, first, I would like to delete everything that is present on the scene. And now, I would like to add a cube. So go to the add menu, go to mesh and now select this option that is cube. Next, you need to go to the edit mode and now you need to scale this cube along the y axis by 3 meters. Next, select the face selection mode and now select this face of the cube. Now scale this face along the z axis by 0.1 meter. Now select this face of the cube and scale this face along the x-axis by 1.5 meter. Also scale this face along the z-axis by 0.8 meter. Next what you need to do is you need to add a cylinder. So to do that press shift A and now select cylinder. Now rotate this cylinder along the x-axis by 90 degree. Next, move this cylinder along the y-axis by 7 meters. Next, what you need to do is, you need to add a couple of loop cuts on top of the cube. So, to do that, press Ctrl R and bring your cursor on top of the cube. So, as you can see right now, this is a vertical selection. So, we need 12 such vertical selections. So, enter the value 12 and now press enter twice. Now press Ctrl R once again and bring your cursor on top of the cube. So right now this is a horizontal selection. So we need two such horizontal selections. So enter the value 2 and press enter twice once again. Next select the vertex selection mode and select all the vertices which are present right here. Now you need to delete all the faces which are present right here. So Press the letter X and select faces. Now press the Alt key and select an edge between two vertices. And this is going to select the entire ring of vertices. Now we are going to do the same thing with the cylinder. So press Shift Alt and select an edge between two vertices. And this is going to select the entire ring of vertices. Next, you need to go to the edge menu. And now you need to select this option that is bridge edge loops. Now press the number 7 and this will give you the top view. Next enable the wireframe mode. And now select the two vertices which are present right in the middle like this. Now enable proportional editing and increase the proportional size to somewhere around 1.61 meters. Now move these two vertices along the y axis by 2.5 meters. Now disable proportional editing. Next select the face selection mode and enable the solid mode. Now you need to press the alt key and select a face from the cylinder and this is going to select all the faces of the cylinder. Now rotate this cylinder along the y axis by 5 degree. Next you need to box select all the faces which are present right here. And now press the number 3 and this will give you the side view. Now enable the wireframe mode. Now you need to scale this selection along the z axis by 0 meters. Now rotate this selection along the x axis by 5 degree. Now move this selection along the z axis by 0 0.1247 meters. Now enable the solid mode and press the number 7 and this will give you the top view. Now press Ctrl 7 and this will give you the bottom view. Now select all the faces which are present right at the bottom like this. Now press the number 3 and this will give you the side view. Now enable the wireframe mode. Next you need to scale this selection along the z axis by 0 meter. Now rotate this selection along the x axis by negative 5 degree. Now move this selection along the z axis by negative 0. 1247 meters. Next, enable the solid mode and now you need to select 
all the faces which are present right at the front like this. Now scale all these faces along the z-axis by 0.5 meters. Alright. Next, you need to go to the object mode. And now you need to add the subdivision surface modifier. So go to the modifiers tab, click on add modifier and inside generate, select the subdivision surface modifier. Now increase the value inside levels viewport from 1 to 2 and inside render from 2 to 3. Next, you need to apply shade smooth. So, go to the object menu and select this option that is Shade Smooth. Now, go back to Edit Mode. Next, what you need to do is, you need to select the Edge Selection Mode. And now, select this edge right here. Now, press the letter G twice and move this edge upwards like this. Now, select this edge right here. Press the letter G twice and move this edge downwards like this. Now, let's go to the other side and select this edge right here. Press the letter G twice and move this edge upwards like this. Now, select this edge right here. Press the letter G twice and move this edge downwards like this. Next, what you need to do is you need to add a couple of loop cuts. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Now, press Ctrl R once again and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Now, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Next, what you need to do is, you need to select the face selection mode. And now, you need to select this face of the cylinder. And now, you need to extrude this face by 50 meters. Next, you need to add another loop cut. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut right at the end like this. Next, go to the object mode. And now, you need to add a mesh circle. So, press Shift A. Go to Mesh and now select Circle. Now click on this Add Circle Operator Box and decrease the value inside the Vertices option from 32 to 16. Next, rotate the circle along the X-axis by 90 degree. Now move the circle along the Y-axis by 35 meters. Next, go to the Edit Mode. And now let me zoom in like this. Now select the Vertex Selection Mode and press the letter A to select all the vertices of the circle. Now extrude these vertices along the y-axis by negative 5 meters. Now you need to extrude all these vertices once again. So press the letter E and now press Enter. Now scale all these vertices by 4 meters. Now, you need to extrude all these vertices along the y-axis by 30 meters. Next, what you need to do is, you need to add a loop cut. So, to do that, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Now, select the face selection mode and press the Alt key and select a face right here and this is going to select all the bottom faces now you need to extrude all these faces outwards so to do that go to the face menu and now select this option that is extrude faces along normals now enter the value 1 and press enter next what you need to do is you need to add another loop cut so Press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. And now select the face selection mode. Now press the Alt key and select a face right here. And this is going to select all the faces which are present right at the bottom. Now you need to scale all these faces along the x-axis and along the z-axis 
by 1.1 meters. Okay. Next, what you need to do is you need to select the edge selection mode. And now you need to press the Alt key and select an edge which is present right here. Now, when you press the Alt key and select an edge right here, it is going to select the entire ring of edges. Now, first you need to extrude all these edges. So, press the letter E and now press Enter. Now, scale all these edges by 0 0.5866 meters. Now, extrude all these edges once again. So, press the letter E and press Enter. Now, scale all these edges by 0 0.5866. 3671 meters. Now you need to fill this circle. So to do that, press the letter F. Next, what you need to do is you need to enable proportional editing and now increase the proportional size to somewhere around 5.56 meters. Now move this selection along the y axis by 2 meters. All right. Next, what you need to do is you need to add another loop cut. So, we are going to add another loop cut, but before we do that, disable proportional editing. Now, let's add the loop cut. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position right here. Now select the face selection mode and press the Alt key and select an edge right here. And this is going to select all the faces inside these two loop cuts. And now you need to extrude all these faces outwards. So to do that, go to the face menu and now select this option that is extrude faces along normals. Now enter the value 0 0.3 and press enter. Next, what you need to do is you need to add another loop cut. So press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. And now what you need to do is you need to select the face selection mode. And now you need to press the Alt key and you need to select a face which is present right here. So the moment you select a face, all the faces are going to get selected. And now you need to go to the select menu and select this option that is checker deselect. Next, you need to go to the face menu and you need to select this option that is extrude faces along normals. Now enter the value negative 0.5 and press enter. Now we are going to extrude all these faces once again. So press the letter E and now press enter. Next, what you need to do is you need to press the Alt key and you need to select a face which is present right here and this is going to select all the faces. Now, we are going to extrude all these faces by 1 meter. Next, what you need to do is you need to add a loop cut. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, let's add another loop cut. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Now you need to scale this loop cut by 0 0.8 meters. Now let's add another loop cut. So press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Now select the face selection mode. Press the Alt key and select a face right here and this is going to select all the surrounding faces. Now go to the select menu and now select this option that is checker deselect. Now go to the face menu and select this option that is extrude faces along normals. Now enter the value negative 0.5 and press enter. Next, what you need to do is you need to add another loop cut. So press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Next, what you need to do is you need to 
go to the object mode and now you need to add the subdivision surface modifier so before we do that let's go back to edit mode and what i would like to do is i would like to scale this loop cut by 0 0.8 meters okay now let's go back to the object mode and let's add the subdivision surface modifier so i'm already in the modifiers tab so click on add modifier and inside generate select the subdivision surface modifier now increase the value inside levels viewport from 1 to 2 and inside render from 2 to 3 now let's also add shade smooth so go to the object menu and select shade smooth now let's go back to the edit mode and now we are going to add couple of loop cuts so press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position now press ctrl r once again and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position now press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position now press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position now press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position now press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position finally you need to press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here now place this loop cut in this particular position and press ctrl r and add a loop cut right here and place this loop cut in this particular position and that's it so now if i go back to object mode so this is how you can actually model a screwdriver in blender do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching